when I finished college about seven years ago with average A-level results, I decided that I was never going to be good enough to be able to grow a business. I'd never be good enough to run a business because I've never had any business experience. I didn't study business at college. I didn't study business at school. I thought that because I had no business experience, there is no way I could go into an entrepreneurship role. And instead, I settled with a nine to five that I could get comfortably in my hometown, but I knew it wasn't what I wanted to do full time. But I was stuck. I thought that I didn't have the skills, I didn't have the knowledge required to be able to start my own business or become an entrepreneur. And so I did what a lot of people do. And I got a job that I knew wasn't what I wanted to do full time. I just got it for the sake of having a job in the short term. Since reading a book, a few years later, my mindset changed completely. And this book changed my life so much because after I read that book, I realized that it didn't matter what my skills were or what my knowledge was of business and entrepreneurship. I changed my mindset to know that as long as I put the time in and started learning, there was no reason why I couldn't go out and achieve the life that I wanted to live and run a business, even though I had no experience of running a business or anyone close to me running a business at the time. That book was called Mindset by Carol Dweck, and it taught me the difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. This was key for me because I very much had a fixed mindset at this time. I felt like I was fixed in my skills, knowledge and experience in a certain area, and therefore I wrote it off as not being very good in that particular area. So for example, running a business. I didn't know anyone that was close to me that had run a business. I'd never done anything entrepreneurial in my life before. I wasn't the type of student at school to sell sweets on the playground. And I didn't have any skills of sales. So I put myself down as somebody that was bad at business. That was the fixed mindset I had. After I read this book, I realized that I have a choice to actually have a growth mindset instead of the fixed mindset. With a growth mindset, you accept your shortcomings and you accept that you haven't got all of the skills or the knowledge in a certain area, but you change that to realize that nobody has skills innately. You have to develop those skills through time and practice and learning and education. As soon as I switched my mindset to a growth mindset, it made me realize that although I had no skills in a certain area that I wanted to go after in my life and running a business and becoming an entrepreneur, that didn't matter because as long as I put the time in, learned, grew the skills, developed myself as a person, I could become that person that I wanted to become. So I owe a lot to that book and the mindset shift has led to a completely different life to the one I would have had if I stayed with a fixed mindset. So I want to briefly break down the five key lessons from the book Mindset by Carol Dweck so you can also take all of the benefits from that book and implement them into your life to experience some real life-changing benefits as well. The first theme of the book is all about the power of belief. So the power of what you believe becoming what your life is. So before I read the book, my belief, which I didn't realize I had, was that you needed to have certain innate skills to be able to thrive in an area. So you needed to be naturally good at football to be good at football. You needed to be naturally good at maths to be good at maths. You needed to naturally be good at art to be good at art. That was my fixed mindset beliefs before. Then I realized that the power of that belief is so strong that whatever you believe becomes the reality. It allowed me the power to change the belief that I had. So instead of believing that you had to be good at business innately to become an entrepreneur and run a business, I changed my mindset to that you could be brilliant at business as long as you put in the time, you put in the effort, you learned the the principles and you had an open mind to learning. And that changed everything for me. It made me realize that as long as I change the belief I have around certain skills, I can level up with any skill that I want to level up in and get to become the person that I want to be. The second key theme from the book is about embracing challenges and learning from mistakes. So again, before, if there was ever a challenge in my life, so when I was going through school and college, if I was ever stuck on a difficult subject, I would shut down and I wouldn't go through that challenge in the way that I do now. I felt that challenges were a challenge directly on my skills as a person. And if I found something challenging, that meant that I wasn't good enough in that certain area. And therefore, I couldn't complete the task that was set for me. What that also meant was whenever I had a failure in school and college, I put that down to me as a person being a failure in that certain area. And that fixed mindset 
held me to ever push myself and grow as a person. But then I changed my belief to having a growth mindset. So then whenever a challenge comes up, and they always come up in life, no matter what pursuit you take, I realised that I should embrace that challenge and use it to learn and become better. The only way we can grow as a person is by embracing those challenges, meeting them head on, overcoming them, and then you're better as a person in the long run. It also taught me that failures are not final. They don't define you as a person. They just teach you that you need to go through more time learning, more time educating yourself before you can win. So when I failed my first business, which was the wrong type of dropshipping business model that I tried initially, I realized that I should just embrace this failure, not as me as a failure, an online business altogether, but embrace it that I didn't have enough experience at the time. And so I needed to learn more and grow more before I could get to the results that I wanted to get. I've since studied the home serve advantage business model that Lewis Smith teaches. And now I've been able to run a successful dropshipping business for almost three years now. But if I had put myself down and used that fixed mindset as being somebody that could never run an online business, I never would have got to that growth. If you want to learn about that type of business model, there is a book in the description that's been written by Lewis Smith, which I would thoroughly recommend. The third theme from the book that I want to teach you is that effort and perseverance are key to develop yourself and grow skills. So no matter what pursuit you go into, it will take effort, it will take perseverance to get to a high level in that industry or in that particular pursuit that you're going into. So if you know that it's going to take effort and it's going to take persistence, then you could approach that from the very start. And when it becomes difficult, when you need to be persistent and you need to keep consistent with the efforts that you're putting in, it will be no surprise and you'll be able to keep putting that in. The fourth theme is about the importance of feedback and criticism. So before, if I ever got some negative feedback from authority figures, whether that's at school or at college, I would put that down as feedback that I didn't want to listen to because it was telling me that I didn't know what I wanted to know. It's telling me that I couldn't do what I wanted to do. So I didn't want to listen to that feedback. I didn't want to listen to the criticism. But since realizing that how you're doing at a certain time doesn't define who you are as a person, it allowed me to embrace the feedback that came my way, embrace the criticism, because that's teaching you how you can improve. With a growth mindset, you see that feedback and criticism as pointers and arrows towards becoming the person you need to become. So the feedback and criticism are so important that you take those on board so you can keep growing as a person. And the fifth theme of the book is all about cultivating that growth mindset for the long run. So having that growth mindset is an identity that you can have. It's almost quite a fixed mindset thing to say that you have a growth mindset, but it's the only way that we can define it is to have a growth mindset, which is fixed, but it allows you to then view everything else that you do in a growth mindset way, where you know that if you're not very good at something to start with, which will be everything, by the way, that's completely normal. And the only way you ever get proficient and good at something is by taking time, learning, educating yourself, taking on board feedback, and that's how you become an expert in any area that you want to become an expert in. So I can't overstate the importance of having a growth mindset and how much of a difference it makes to your life if you can cultivate that growth mindset. For me, as soon as I made that switch and I realized that I didn't need to naturally be good at anything to pursue it, it allowed me to run and grow an online business that's done over £800,000 of sales in less than three years. It's allowed me to enjoy the journey as well, critically, because when things get difficult, I can take that on the chin and realize that it's all part of the process. Now I'm aware of the difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. It's so easy for me to tell when somebody has either a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. And 99 times out of 100, the people that I notice have got a growth mindset, that embrace challenges, that learn from failures, they are the most successful people that I know. The people with fixed mindsets that believe certain people are good at this or bad at this, they're the people that struggle and they can never allow themselves to elevate themselves to the point where they want to be. So with this video in mind and all of those themes that's taught in that lesson, I hope you can go away from this video and start to implement this into your own mindset. Start realizing that if difficulties happen or if you're not very good in certain areas, that's inevitable until you put the time, until you've worked hard to grow that skill before you can reap the benefits. So I'm keen to hear, has anyone else read that book from Carol Dweck? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to know what sort of transformative journey you've been on after reading that book. Also, if you'd like to learn more about the business that I run, 
then you can check out a recent video that I've made which is explaining how you can get to £10,000 a month running a successful dropshipping business. So I suggest you watch that next. Use the growth mindset in your life. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.